Okay, let's do it. See this land that was supposed to be tilled today? No tiller. And the tiller man made a promise. Says, I'll be here tomorrow. Start the job. And you can see what I do. You know. And how I do it. Very bold words. But then he said to be God willing. And I said, look, it had nothing to do with God. When I wake up in the morning, give me the strength. Uh, if you're going to say, God, God, give you the strength to wake up in the morning. What you do after that, you know, you are making a contract for him. Because he always does what he says he's going to do. But you don't. So are you going to be here? He said, yes, I'll be here. I'll do, 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 do. No tiller. Every religious book I've ever read. Always say your word is your bond. But here in Africa, people will tell you God willing. The word means nothing. And then this is not the only one. People will come to your house to do a job. I know guy come and fix a generator and the generator runs when he was there. Next day I turn on the generator, wouldn't start. I call him, doesn't answer. In the meantime, $5,000 Yep, gone. You go to buy something from a, a, a store. And it, two, three days later, it breaks. It's happened to me here in Gambia. We get back to the Gambian store. African man. Oh, there was no warranty. There is no warranty on that. Bought an item from Indian store. Chinese store. Problem with it. Take it back. One place they gave me another item. Worked fine. Another place they gave me an item that didn't work and they took it back and they gave me my money back. See the difference. No trust. No reliable. People come to your house to do a job and when they leave the job, uh, like the lady, the house I'm living in, she sent a plumber to fix the water system. I ended up fixing the water system. I just got tired of calling her and said, hey, the plumber, the water is not working. So I ended up fixing it. Refrigerator, I ended up fixing it. Because this professional Gambian refrigerator repairman, word is not as bond. And you're going to find that here. And everywhere in Africa, really. Every place that I've been, I've run into a situation like that. This is what keeps Africa in the position that it's in. Unreliability. You can't trust, you know, that smiling face that seems so friendly and honest before he gets your money. And it doesn't change. It has not changed since the first day I've been in Gambia. First day I've been in Ghana, first day I've been in Nigeria. Uh, sorry, I'm not even gonna talk about Nigeria. But 
we have a problem. That's why you see everybody has their foot on the African's neck. When the Chinese get hired to do a job, they bring people from China rather than hire Africans to do any kind of technical job. Indians bring people from India and they hire Africans to do the basic. You know, if the land's gotta be clean, they pay the Africans to clean it and don't do anything else. They just, you know, just sweep the floor. That's it. The Indians will do the rest. This has to change. I mean, a lot of people are going to complain about this video. You shouldn't be talking about all people like that. <laughs> foolishness is foolishness. It's got to be changed. If we are going to raise up and become the leaders of the world. We have the ability now. If we fail now, the technology within the next generation is the, what's going to put Africa back in slavery. Listen, I'm telling you. The youth, <laughs> the Caucasian not going to need a big army anymore to maintain his foot on the African neck because technology will do it. It's easy. It'd be so easy with the technology. People, you better get yourself together. Start changing this uh, bad attitude. Serious. The word should be your bond. You say you're going to do there. The only thing should keep you from being there. Your child is sick. Your vehicle broke down on the way there. Or you can't do the job. Anyway. A tiller man is going to come. And the land is going to get tilled. So I'm not worried about that part. Why I'm making this video is because I want people who come after me, who have this in mind, don't get frustrated by what they see. Because it can frustrate you. Me, I've seen it so much now that I just, it's built into the, my plans. It's built into my plans. Anyway, I hope wherever you are, you're enjoying your day. Look at that. Wow, it was sunny just uh, about half an hour, 45 minutes ago. How quickly the clouds are moving. Let's see, yep, it's moving from west, from east to west. Yeah. Anyway. I hope... Uh, those of you who are coming from the diaspora, from wherever you're coming from, if you can afford it, bring equipment that can work the land and you turn part of those equipment, that equipment into a rental backhoe with a front end loader, land clearing equipment. It's cheaper in the U.S.
put it on a boat and send it here. When you get to Gambia, you can rent it. When you get to Ghana, you can rent it. When you get to Sierra Leone, Liberia, you can rent it. I want to urge you to take it to... to, 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 to. Uh, I heard you take it to Nigeria because uh, uh, hey. <laughs> anyway but anywhere you go in West Africa most of the countries you go to in West Africa you'll be able to rent that equipment me I will, I'll be glad to find a, another diaspora that I, that equipment I can, I can rent to plow this land and you know, pull these roots out. None. And I had planned on going back to the U.S. myself. And one of the things I wanted to buy is a small tractor with a backhoe and a front end loader on it. <laughs> anyway, if you're planning on coming and you can afford to get that kind of equipment, bring it with you. You will make your money back renting it. And people like me wouldn't have to wait until for unreliable, untrustworthy people. See? Wouldn't have to wait. I can come to you, get your equipment delivered. I can operate it myself. Or if you have an operator, they can operate it. That's one of the businesses you can get in here. The other business you can get in here, find some Toyotas, just chop them in pieces, bring them engines, transmissions, um, steering, you know, front end. You will you you will be able to do a good business with them. Toyotas, Lexus. I mean, they're all over the place here, but you can't get the parts. And when you do find the parts, they're super expensive. So just giving you some ideas so you can come prepared to jump into a business, especially if you come in Gambia. You, do, you have two tractors, two trailer loads of Toyota parts. You will have them sold in no time. Anyway, hope you're enjoying your day wherever you are. Yeah. And hope you arrive soon. Well, this would be a good time to buy your land if you're going to buy land during the rainy season. So you know if you got good access to your land. Because the roads pose a significant um, obstacle during the rainy season. And even during the dry season, because then they turn into dust. And the dust is four or five inches deep. And yeah, well. <laughs> anyway, but if you're coming, coming soon. And uh, like I said, the, the kind of business that you, I just mentioned a couple of businesses that might be helpful to you if you got the finances to do it. Anyway, have a great day wherever you are. Peace.